name is Mrs. Lorena J. Villa, a grade one teacher of Paglaong Elementary School. What are your sources of your motivation being a professional teacher in this time of pandemic? I am very eager to do my task as a teacher to deliver lessons to them in spite that they are not in school. We are not on face-to-face -face, uh, classes now. We are using the modular printed modules, modular learning, and at the same time, in this fourth quarter, we are delivering the lesson through radio or radio-based instruction. What are the problems you've encountered in dealing with this modular learning? In this uh, modular learning, one of the problems is how to deliver the modules to the pupils because some of the parents are too busy in their work so they cannot go to school to get the modules. But for me, I deliver it personally to the pupils. In the radio-based instruction, the problem is some of the learners or parents has no radio at home. Sometimes, when there is brownout, we cannot uh, air our lessons through radio. So, that is a big problem. How would you be able to describe a professional teacher in this time of pandemic? In this time of a professional teacher must possess love of work, dedication, and uh, integrity in doing his or her mission. Because in printing modules, we need to have more time and effort. Me, I sleep almost 1 o'clock in the morning just to sort out the printed modules. Then, patience because just to pursue this uh, mission of DepEd that education must be continued. To those uh, education students, my advice is, if you really love teaching, you should stand for it. You need to have education, love, Patience, and you must uh, do and abide with a different mission and vision. So, as a teacher, you need to be more uh, adapt, you flexible with what is going on in the situation of our educational system. What are the best achievements you've received in modular teaching? I think the best uh, achievement I got in modular teaching is that when my pupils are able to answer the modules through their own without the support of the learning body, of his or her learning body at home. But let us admit that nowadays especially I am teaching grade 1, they need parental guidance or learning body assistance in doing those activities in the module. So, it is an achievement if the pupil answered the module through his or her own, meaning he have understand the lesson in spite of the modular and not on face-to-face -face, uh, mode of teaching. Yes, I believe that pupils learn through con contextualized uh, teaching because in contextualized teaching, we are teaching, we are using materials that can be found in the locality, we are using stories that are real for them, we are uh, bringing them to the world wherein they are nowadays, especially in grade one. 
we are teaching the L1 or what we call the language one for them to understand well the lesson then we proceed to language two which is Filipino language one is the dialect they speak at home language two Filipino then the last is language three which is English as a professional teacher, what reasons could you provide or encourage for those parents who's referring to CHOS for academic freeze? My advice for those parents who are preferring to have an academic freeze is let us give the children what are the rights. One of the rights is having an education. If you have an academic freeze, they have no learning for almost a year because education will stop. The best is they should embrace what is the DepEd's uh, mission for their children. And one of these missions is to continue the basic education in spite of this pandemic. Thank you for trusting me.